Hey, what's up guys? MGS Grant here, back in again with another video, and right now it is currently uh, September 8th. Mm, uh, okay, actually I should probably clarify, um, it, it isn't. In actuality it is currently um, 12.40 a.m. on September 9th. L l let's, um, let's, let's pretend that I just have a healthy sleep schedule and that it is not September 9th, for the sake of this, uh, it, so, so, September 8th, uh, do not question my sleep habits, I am a college kid. So, pretending that it is September 8th, that means tomorrow is the release date of the brand new Steven Alex Amiibo, and uh, if you know me, I am going to wake up early and get there on time so I can buy them right when they come out so I don't have to go ahead and miss out on, uh, well, getting them. Gah! Okay, um, a bit of an important thing I should probably mention. Um, I actually have the Amiibo pre-ordered at Best Buy right now, but I'm still waking up early to go ahead and try and get another set of the Amiibo, and that is for one specific reason. Let me just get up and show you real quick. It's because I am currently trying to collect every one of the Smash Ultimate DLC Amiibo. Um, listen, for your sake and my own, Let's just not ask why we put them in the kitchen. Good? Good. So yeah, tomorrow I'm basically going ahead and just buying another set of the Amiibo, um, and also picking up the ones that I pre-ordered, and I'm gonna be blunt, I actually don't really feel that concerned that I'm not gonna be able to go ahead and get them, mostly because as of today, every single Amiibo is currently able to be pre-ordered at pretty much every store near me, so, I don't think it's going to be rare, which is good good for me because I don't really want to have to go ahead and struggle to find them because I actually have a lecture to get to in the morning and one in the middle of the day and one at the end of the day. So yeah, my plan is just after one of my first lectures tomorrow to just go quickly run to the stores, pick them up, get back here, and then finally go ahead and unbox it. So yeah, that's... Uh, that's about it. S see you tomorrow, I guess. <laughs>All right, so the original plan was that when I was done with class, I was gonna go ahead and come here and wait at that GameStop right there. But there is a slight change of plan since my class actually ended a little early. So now I have about, what, uh, 50, 40, 50 minutes to go ahead and kill before that GameStop opens, so I was thinking this time I was gonna just go to the uh, Target, just wave it out for a little bit. I know last time I had to try and buy an Amiibo here, um, only that GameStop back there actually had the Amiibo, so I'm not confident that I'll see them at Target, but hey, if they do, then that means uh, I don't really have to go ahead and waste more time. Um, see you if I get them. So, slight change of plans because uh, they actually had the Amiibo here. Uh, thank you, Target. You actually did something good for once. Instead of fucking me over, even though that was once and every other time, they've actually been pretty good about the Amiibo. Oh, well, I don't want to deal with Best Buy, like, with uh, GameStop anymore, so I'm just going to go ahead and get back, so I'll catch you guys there. And we're back. So yeah, as you just saw, uh, apparently I got this at Target, which was honestly kind of surprising, uh, cause I think with the Min Min Amiibo, Target just didn't have it. And fun fact, after that, I did not see the Min Min at that Target for a good while. So I don't know, I guess I was just expecting uh, these to not be there, but hey, pleasantly surprised. I didn't have to go to GameStop, so. That's nice. Speaking of going places, uh, I do know I said that I had one actually 
ordered at Best Buy, and the reason I didn't actually go to get it is because at the time of me being there, my order said it was still being processed. Now, I get it, Best Buy has to be nice, but I know what it really means, and it really means the fact that it's not coming in for another week or two, so. Sorry, Kitchen, I guess you're gonna be looking very bare for a good while. Uh, but for now, I'll just go ahead and get straight into the unboxing of this, so why don't we just go ahead and get straight into it. Yeah. Actually, hold on, I do need to change my angle because light sources from coming back there needs to point this way, and I also need to change my tripod mount to this one. Un momento. And here we have Steve and Alex. Now, for the most part, uh, I normally don't actually talk about what the box, oh, well, no, I do talk about what the box looks like, but that's more so of a, oh, look at the blue. Uh, yeah, there's S Steve on there or whatever. And of course the back, there's only a few differences, but this time actually there is a very slight difference, but the Amiibos, well, there's Amiibos, two specifically. And I know they've done uh, three packs of Amiibo, like, you know, St like, I th what was it? Duck Hunt, um, Game and & Watch, and Rob had a three pack and like the Mii Fighters did, but I don't think they ever actually released a two pack in the Smash amiibo line so pretty cool i guess but yeah for the most part it's just kind of looks like a normal two-pack this time with steve and alex um yeah i don't really know too much to say so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and crack into each individual amiibo uh i'll just start with steve and then alex so yeah Now, I remember when uh, Steve and Alex were first announced because it was like right before I had school, I was sitting at my computer watching the reveal, which was supposed to be like a big mystery fighter. And I remember the moment they just revealed Steve, I was laughing my ass off. Like, I know that when Steve was announced, there was like two halves, which is the, oh my God, they added Steven and Oh no, Steve is cringe. He's from New Game. New Game bad. I like old game. And I'm not. And as a filthy little zoomer, uh, yeah, I was very happy when Steve was announced because, God, I have put wait like an absurd amount of time into Minecraft. Like, I think even on Xbox, I put in over like God, a thousand hours into the game, and that's prop like and that's like nothing compared to some of the other like like Minecraft on PC. So, yeah, uh, I was very happy with them, but. Yeah, that's enough talking about my personal history with Steve. Oh, and Alex, I mean... It, it's Alex, I mean, it would have been really weird if they didn't include Alex as a skin for Steve, but... Yeah, anyways, let's just go ahead and get on to Steve. Now, one thing I noticed right away is actually the coloring, because... You know, if you look at the render, there's a lot more... Uh, or the colors are a little more synonymous with each other. This one, like, the darks are really, like, these two colors, like, right here, I don't know if it's obvious or not. Like, the color right there and color right there are very similar, but then there's, like, the really harsh darks, so that's a little weird, but it doesn't look too bad. Um, skin tones look good, you know, it, 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 it's Steve, like... <laughs> I find it's really hard to talk about Amiibo because at the end of the day, if it just looks like the character, then that's more than good enough. But yeah, I mean, it looks fine. And I will say it is kind of strange looking at the joints because take for instance, I have this figure of Steve where you can move around the head. And for some reason, as I was looking in the store, I kind of was just like, can you move the head? Well, n no, you can't, but yeah. Oh, and also one thing I was wondering since Basically, they went ahead and showed Steve off, like the like the Steve Amiibo is. And I was wondering when I first saw it, but I'm, I think it's pretty certain right now. If I were to just take, say, a little strip here. Yep, there's little gaps between the arms and even the thighs. So, yeah. Pretty neat. Uh, yeah, it's... Pretty decent. I mean, if I had any complaints, it's the 
dark hues on at least Steve, but yeah, it doesn't look bad. Um, I will say though, if I don't know how well it's showing up because of the fact that it's overcast right now, but the Amiibo actually has, like unlike some of the other Minecraft figures, it's not really shiny, it's very matte-like, like very, well, matte. So keep that in mind, but yeah, overall, I'm content with this. Yeah, yeah. And then moving on, we got ourselves the main girl of Minecraft, uh, Alex. Now, I will admit when they announced that they were going to make an Alex Amiibo, I was pleasantly surprised because, I mean, Byleth didn't end up getting a female Byleth Amiibo. Arguably for the better. But as somebody who likes to collect dumb little plastic figurines with this, like with these base plates that you can use to NFC read in the games, uh... Yeah, I'm very happy that they decided to just make a bonus little amiibo, and I'm gonna be blunt, I actually like the way that the Alex amiibo looks more than Steve. Now, like, and I mean, like, and I say that mostly just because I think the darkers work better in this case rather than Steve, where it's like very different between the two. It's like light blue, slightly lighter, like darker blue, very dark blue. And this one, I think it's a bit more of like a good mix of very light, medium, dark. So, there's that. Like Steve, of course, you know, little gaps in the arms, little gaps between the legs. Yeah. And, yeah, maintains a matte look. It very much just looks like a Steve Amiibo, but with the tweaked proportions of Alex. So, yeah, I think that I don't have too much more to say other than that because I think it's pretty obvious. We'll admit this is the first time I'm ever seeing Alex's back on, like, and I never knew the hair kind of did this on the back. It should be obvious if you can't tell, but yeah, I really, I would say that I'm really content with how um, Alex looks overall. So yeah, I got really no qualms with it. Blech. And so here are Steve and Alex actually next to each other. And because I just forgot to go ahead and do the size comparator with Ryu, because for some reason I think he's the average height, even though he's significantly taller than the average, I believe, but Putting Ryu next to them, uh, I mean, they're smaller, but not that much. I mean, they're still very big Amiibo because, I mean, what, Steve and Alex are like, they're like two meters, I think, six foot, so. I guess it really is, an, in this case, it's actually an accurate size comparison, but yeah, overall, very content with them, so. Why not just go ahead, like, and since I have nothing more to say, I'll just go ahead and uh, put these guys on the shelf. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, I think that's gonna be about it for me. I hope you all like, subscribe, and maybe leave a comment down below. And I guess until next time, my friends. Uh